New hope for vets who aren't willing or able to go to the VA. Battle buddies are volunteers who can lend an ear or offer advice. Only 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins has the, how the nonprofit is working to start a chapter right here in San Diego. Slipping and sliding on pieces of people. It was hard. Albert Brewster was only 18 when he became a Marine and headed off to Vietnam. The day that the forestall blew up, 134 men were killed. He was assigned to keep one alive as Rear Admiral Harvey Lanham's bodyguard. Admiral and I got blown up into the air and came down and landed on the flight deck. He got up and started headed towards the flames again. So I got in front of him. He saved Lanham's life. Lanham shaped his by inspiring him to go to school. Brewster earned his doctorate and joined the Air Force. He ran mental health clinics and counseled military families for decades. After retiring, he trained vets to help vets and started Battle Buddies. There's an instant trust because we, we've both been there. He trained 28 mentors to help people like Peter. After navigating the high seas for 27 years, he felt lost when he got out. I had the police officer show up the door a couple times thinking that I was going to make a bad decision. They could meet anywhere or chat on the phone at no cost with no judgment. This was someone that walked in my shoes. Brewster knew about the hurdles ahead. Today we call them flashbacks. To me they were, they were dam damers, like nightmares on me in the daytime. Brewster got a call he hoped was a nightmare. Do I have your permission to mention your dad? Yes. He's talking about the father of his PR guy who's on the left. While Brewster had saved Lanham during the service. Just feeling bad. He couldn't save him from suicide after it. Okay. Because I wasn't there. Battle Buddies is his way of keeping others from falling. <laughs> Hannah Mullins, 10 News. You can just see oh, the heartbreak, you know, they're, they're so tight in the on the battlefield and afterwards, too. So when you have someone who falls as a fallen soldier, it's so heartbreaking. Once in, always in, mm -hmm. and they stick together. Uh, so many of the people that go through this training end up becoming mentors themselves, yeah. which is very common for that to happen. They want a new chapter in every city, and we know that we need it. So let's let's get behind them. Big military community here. We do need it.